Well, welcome back to uh, one of our uh, uh, wine reviews. I know it's been a long time. Uh, I can't remember the last time I did a, a wine review. It's been a while. It's it's been. A um, it, it's been a pretty uh, a busy uh, um, few months, should I say? Uh, I think the last time I did uh, uh, actually like a, a, a view of wine has been several uh, four, five, six months ago. Um, I got a wine here I got just on a, a whim of I needed something to drink tonight. Me and the wife needed uh, something to drink to, uh, well, you know, just, just a drink. We haven't done it for a while. We we've been preoccupied. Um, this bottle here is Augusta Winery. It's a River Valley Blush. It's an Ozark, Ozark Mountain Sweet Rose Wine. And it's uh, from Missouri. And it's $5.99 at Hy-Vee. So, I uh, decided to get this. I've never tried it. This is be the first time I've tried uh, Augustus uh, Winery. And of course, I sim simply text my wife, red wine or white, or white or red wine. Or she said red. This is definitely a red. Just a, it's a it's a rose wine, so uh, it's it's a reddish, so it has not been uh, broken. So it'd be the first time I taste this. And this would be the first uh, first uh, first wine uh, uncorky wine review I've done in a while. So oh, you hear that? That's fresh, brand new. So this is a sweet rose wine. Smells pretty, smells pretty, uh, rose. Kind of like, definitely, uh, kind of like a cherry or whatever. So, it's going to be interesting. It sounds nice. And definitely smells really good. Oh, yeah. So, hopefully it tastes good. Here we go. I like really good this one definitely is one of the ones I'll be uh, buying too um, I really like it it's uh, kind of a tart definitely really good I like it I'll be buying it so, I definitely give it eight or nine, uh, seven or eight. Uh, definitely, uh, aftertaste is kind of uh, interesting. It very, uh, I can't, it kind of, not really burns, but it, I don't know, it's kind of uh, interesting aftertaste. I like it. I like it. So, this will be my uh, drinking. For tonight, and the wife too. So I'm gonna finish this up. So I haven't done uh, really too much afterwards of my wine. I know. Sorry about that. But it's, we promise we've been it's, busy with it's it. It's been busy, or you know, I've been busy with work, just whatever. So um, we'll put that off to the side and. Your this, beautiful assistant will remove it for you. That's fine. This is uh, my wine, my dragon's blood wine. This uh, here is uh, we reused one of the bottles of one of the wines I've bought before. Based on the lid, I think it's mango or something similar. I doesn't. Uh, yeah, it's. Uh, you see, it's uh, very clear. It's nice and red. Actually, put it up against that one. Same it's a uh, pretty red, pretty red. That one, that one's kind of a clearer red. This one's definitely your know, red, really red. Uh, this one has been aging for. We started in March. Now it is September. September. Um, bottled it probably a month later, so April. So what? Four months? Five months? Um, I've given out several bottles, and the feedback I've been getting. 
is pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. I actually had one person uh, say, give me another bottle. So, of course, I gave him another bottle. And other people were like, man, I, I, definitely, uh, I definitely like that. It has a kick in the, in the back taste of it. Um, I mean, it probably needs to be aged a little bit more, but um, this one is kind of up there to the top, so I'm going to, of course, drink some, bring it down regularly. There we go. So. Bottling was difficult. I did my best. So, kind of has a sweet smell to it. Unlike that one, that one has a kind of a fruity smell. This one definitely you smell the alcohol in it. You definitely taste the berry in it. You know, I think the kick is gone. I think the kick is gone. Everyone's been been drinking the last month or two. Last month, I started giving them out. I just had a kick. This one doesn't, this time it doesn't have a kick, so maybe it's aged really good. And I tell you what, I really like it. I almost like it as, as better than that one. I'd say this one is very good. I definitely, uh, well, I recorded all of this, so I got the recipe in that. So it's a good thing. So now it's all on recording. So. <laughs> My Dragon Blood wine, first attempt at uh, Dragon Blood wine, and I say a very good success. Now, I don't know if you guys remember my uh, Mountain Dew wine. Mountain Dew wine, uh, kind of a failure. So, um, as you can see here, this is my Mountain Dew wine. Now, this has been aging for a long time. Mm -hmm. Very long time. Um, last time I tasted it, it tasted nothing but like. Well, it tasted like shit. It, it really tasted like shit. I, I, I didn't like it. Now, I let it age a few, three, four months to see if it would actually taste better. Now, I have not tasted it since the last time. So, I am actually going to taste it now to kind of give you guys um, if it. You know, taste good after that, or I'm going to be pouring it down the sink tonight because that's what I'm going to do. Because I'm kind of preparing for my uh, other wines I'm going to be making this winter. So, oh, had a little uh, carbonation on it because I haven't opened it in forever. Definitely uh, uh, almost like this. So, a little greener than pea. Yeah, it's a little greener. So, here we go. I'm kind of scared. Please don't die. I love you. So, it had a little bit of carbonation to when I opened up, if you heard it. So. Oh, God. This does not <laughs> smell very good at all. Yeah, it's no. Uh, kind of hesitant to drink it. Bottom up. It. No, definitely not. Ooh. No, no. It's going down the drain. It's going down the drain. That <laughs> was a failure. It's, uh, at least I didn't waste a, uh, uh, five gallons of Mountain Dew for nothing. I won't, be, I won't be making Mountain Dew wine ever again. Uh, uh, that was a failure. Uh, by me, whatever. Definitely not a good, good thing to do. Um, uh, good God. Now, that tastes, whew, that's bad. Mm. That's good. That one's good. Bad. So, thank you for watching. And uh, I want you guys to remember, a week from tomorrow is going to be Wine Fest. Uncorking Wine Fest, uh, September 10th. If you got your VIP tickets, you can go from 12 to 1. Me and wife will be there. If you didn't, you go from one, one to uh, whenever. Um, so. I believe it ends at six or so. Six, I do believe yes. So if you guys didn't get your VIP tickets, there's only a hundred of them. I'm sorry. Try next year. 
Um, we will be getting VIP from there on out. But uh, hopefully to see you guys there. I'll be in uh, probably my hat, as you can see. Might even be in my cowboy hat. I don't think I've uh, showed you guys, but I got a brand new cowboy hat, which I might be wearing there. I don't know. Uh, so, anyways, you guys uh, have always went on and have a great Labor Day weekend.